Stay still. Oh! See y'all later. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing something that I'm very excited about. My buddy Daniel Bowens did this a while back and we're gonna give it a try. Today we are at a very, very clear spring right here. But this water is the clearest water I have ever seen in my entire life. We're going to take our magnet right here, put a GoPro about right here, and we are going to see what the magnet sees while we're magnet fishing. We don't have a mount that can mount this GoPro to hit this properly, so we're gonna have to jerry-rig it. There is a very, very good chance that we could potentially lose this GoPro today. Our tools that we're gonna have today are gonna be tape and a singular zip tie. Hopefully we don't lose these GoPros. This is a GoPro 10, it's about like $400. I will definitely be scuba diving if I lose the GoPro. <laughs> if it could stay just like that the entire time, that would be perfect. I don't think it's going to, so I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna wrap the tape around it as well. Redneck's best friend, duct tape. Lots of duct tape. All right, let's give it the test here. Shall we take a test throw just off the dock? Looking like that's pretty, pretty solid right there. This is the muddiest water in the whole area. So this isn't even the clear water we're throwing in yet. <laughs> I don't have any of this tied. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell how muddy it is. Looks like the GoPro stayed in place. So we're gonna take this on over to the bridge, which is just right over there. And we're gonna see what cool stuff we can find. The good part about this water is like I said earlier, it is crystal clear. We're gonna go over there, see what we can get. Also in today's video, we're gonna be making our first scrap run of the year. As you can see, we have an extremely full trailer. So we're gonna be adding that to our weight total. And speaking of weight totals, if you guys have missed the last video, we are opening the clean stream movement to anybody who is wanting to participate. All you need to do is send a picture of your scrap guard receipt to this email right here and a picture of your finds and we will add your weight to the total. We already have our first submission from Atomic Finds adding over 3,000 pounds to the total weight of 1 million pounds we were trying to clean up across America this year. Let's go grab everything and head to the bridge. So the good part about us staying in this RV park is we're literally within walking distance of this bridge. So we don't need a drive or anything. We can literally park our car here and walk to the bridge. I don't know if y'all can see it out there, but all those birds, there's so many, there's even a few really big carp fins. We are going to try to make it a better place for them. So I'm about to tie up my magnet and take the first throw of the day. All right, let's turn on the GoPro here. First throw, this is scary throwing the GoPro out. Not a very far throw for the first one. It's definitely a lot heavier. I don't know if it just feels heavier because it's got a GoPro on it. We got some weeds or something. All right, did we get anything? Nothing. We got nothing on the first throw, but we're gonna keep on going here. So one thing I am feeling here is a lot of weeds. Don't quote me on it, but I think the weeds are what kind of makes this place so clear. It's like a giant filter. Nothing. So we're gonna go try the other side right now. We're gonna try our luck over there. And the cool thing about the other side is there's a fishing dock on the river part of this. So we're gonna go give that a try as well if we can't get anything over there. So we're gonna have to cross this road right here. It's a pretty busy road to get to the other side, but let's go, 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 go. Come on, come on. All right. <laughs> We're made it halfway. I have a good feeling about this side though. I feel like we're gonna find some good stuff over here. Go, go, go! All right, we've made it safe. We have just made it to the new spot, right by the dam. So that's the noise you're hearing is the dam behind us. But we're gonna give it a throw and see if we can find some stuff. Much deeper on this side. I can see the magnet from up here. Oh, we got something, let's see. And, oh, we finally got something, let's go. We got ourselves a little, I need my gloves on, but we got ourselves a little fishing weight. The first fight of the day, we didn't get busted, man. We got it. We got a nail and a little fishing weight. I don't think I've ever been so excited to find nails and fishing weights before. This is awesome. Let's take it off, our first fight of the day, a nail and a little fishing weight. All right, let's take another throw. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, that sun's starting to come out a little bit more. You can see so much. Do we got anything coming up? Oh yeah, we got ourselves a little nail on that throw. Two for two. Got a couple nails. Nothing too crazy yet, but that is awesome, man. Look at us, we're getting some stuff. I hope the footage is coming out good. It's a trick. Gotta get under that pipe. Oh yeah, there we go. 
There we go. I like that one. All right, do we have something? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got a little fishing lure on that throw right there. Look at that. That's been down there for a while, but we got ourselves some sort of little fishing lure that once was a plastic, but it is not anymore. I wonder if you guys can see all the stuff that I'm missing with my bag. <laughs> Got to get the little hop man, man. The little lucky magnet fishing hop. I feel a lot of rocks down there. Whoa, is that magnetic or do we got a rock? Oh, we got our first big find of the day. What do we got? We got something big. Oh, it came up. We got something big. We got our first big find of the day. What is it? Oh man, what, what is it? It's a bag. It's a bag or something. What the heck? There's metal inside of this bag we just got here. Uh, what the heck is this, man? Looks like one of those sacks. Ah, oh, we got a crawfish! <laughs> Come here. We got Mr. Krabs. Look at him, man. <laughs> I know what we're gonna do with him, man. All right, we're gonna leave him right there. All right, so it looks like the only thing that was inside of this bag was this little metal plate. But I felt something much bigger down there. So we're gonna keep on throwing in that same spot and see if we can get it up. We're gonna give our little crawfish the ride of his life. We're gonna just drop him gently back in the water. No, I got you, man. Buddy, you gotta stay still for a second, man. I'm trying to lower you back in the water gracefully. Stay still, stay still. Oh, oh no, Rusty. Oh, he's right here. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive, y'all. He's okay, he's chilling. We're gonna gracefully release him back into the water here. Goodbye, Rusty. Uh, well, it wasn't as graceful as I would've liked, but you know what? He's back in the water safe. And he's gotta find a new home, because his home was trash, so. He'll find a more, a more natural home. <laughs> I found a crawfish the other day and I named it Krusty. Rusty, rusty, musty. Oh yeah, there it is. I just felt it click. Let's see if we can get it up. Oh yeah, we got something heavy coming. Oh yeah, we got that big thing. What is it? Let's go. It is so freaking heavy, man. What do we got? Oh, yo, what is that? Come here. Oh, it's a water thing for the road. That's why that thing's so heavy. That's been down there for a while. It's got all the buildup on it, all the crustiness on there. Any more crayfish in there? Nope. <laughs> There's a water cooler and a little piece of rebar as well. Let's go, man. <laughs> we got our first real find of the day. I knew I felt something big down there. I knew it was bigger. Oh, we got a whole bunch of grass that's going by right now. We got a little grass movement. We gotta let that go. That feels... That may be a little bit heavier right there. I don't know, let's see. Do we got something? Oh yeah, there we go. We got some junk, man. We got some little bit of scrap metal. Got what looks like a piece of the bridge right there. And another one of those square plate things that was inside of that uh, like little sack that we got earlier. All right, cool, let's throw it in there. Let's keep on going, man. We're finding a bunch of stuff today. See y'all later. I definitely feel me dragging something up here. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, oh, we got more pieces of the bridge right there. We got a big old piece of rebar with one of those square things in there. Look at all this buildup, almost like some weird algae on there. Yeah, it like explodes with water when you poke it. Nasty, all right, well, that is another good piece of metal that we can throw in the pile. We found the honey hole over here, man. Everything's getting pushed up right along the side of that dam. All the current pushing it that way. There we go. It feels like we got something else yet again. See, this is such a beautiful spot to have this much trash in it, man. It's so sad, but this is why we're doing what we're doing. Oh, we got ourselves a boat strap. Look at that. <laughs> There we go, at least I think it's a boat strap. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is some sort of ratchet strap for a boat maybe, or a kayak. Pretty cool, there we go, let's throw it in our bucket. It's going to be really interesting to see if there's a lot more trash down there than what my magazine is getting. Because it should be clear enough where we should be able to see all that stuff with the GoPro. All right, do we got anything? We got ourselves just some nails on that throw. 
Man, we're on a crazy streak there for a second, getting stuff like every throw. Oh yeah, we got something right there. I just gotta go really slow. Oh no, I feel it. Oh no, it's not one, come on. Oh, I think I got it. It definitely feels a lot heavier. All right, we got something coming up here. What is it? Oh, what is it? I don't know what it is. It looks like half of a pizza pan. <laughs> All right, that has not been down there for too terribly long. It's only got a little bit of rust on it. I think that's something for a pipe, maybe. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know where it's going. It's going straight to the scrap yard. Oh, we just got ourselves a little piece of scrap metal. Cool, for the bucket. All right, let's see. We moved down just a tad bit. It feels a little bit heavier. Oh, it's pink. Oh, we got a fishing rod, let's go. Let's go, man. We got ourselves a fishing rod on that, too. How did I not see that from up here? Let's go. We got ourselves a little Zepco splash right there. Does it still work? Oh, of course, man. Oh, there's the other half. <laughs> oh, it's all, it's all broke. Oh, man. You can see where it got broke. Someone got mad and threw it in or whatever. Come here. Ah. <laughs> Look at that, man. We got ourselves a fishing pole. Let's go, best find of the day so far, a little Zebco Splash fishing rod. Man, I don't know how we couldn't see that. But how clear the water is? I guess there's just out there ways. It is pretty deep out there. Though. I see a fish down there. He's probably wondering what the heck's going on. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a couple more pieces of rebar and some nails. We're getting some stuff. Hey, every little bit out of the water helps other side of the cable oh yeah we got something on there well, look at that we got an old can all right got an old can on that throw right there what kind of can is it it does not say but it is falling apart everywhere look at that all right we got a can for the bucket uh, i don't know what that was but hopefully y'all will be able to tell i don't know what the heck that could have been man maybe got wedged between two rocks that was a big clip though, or at least it felt like a clip. Man, all that for a little nail. We definitely had something way bigger, so I'm gonna throw in that same spot again. There it is, I got it. It's a big one. I think this is the biggest find of the day right here. Oh my gosh, it's fighting. It's heavy. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? It's just a big metal plate, it looks like, but it looks like it's got rubber on it or something. What the heck? It's some big metal plate right there. That thing's actually really cool. <laughs> Let's go, man. That is awesome. I have no idea what this is. If you guys know what this is, let me know down in the comments. We are gonna keep on throwing the magnet, but if you guys have not already, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys would like to see this again, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. All right, it feels like we got something. What do we got? Oh man, we just got some more little rebar. Rebar and some nails right there. That's the classic magnet vision find combo right there. Rebar and nails. Throw that in the bucket. I think we are about to go move down here in just a little bit. We're gonna try it off that dock. See if we can't make it something happen over there. All right, let's see if we got something. All right, no, we did not get anything on that throw. So we are gonna go try down here and take a couple throws and see if we can find some stuff more down river on the other side of the dam. We had a very, very successful magnet fishing trip on this side of the bridge right here. Hopefully the bottom of the dam is gonna be just as good, but I'd say we probably got about, I don't know, 15 to 25 pounds of trash. Well, actually, I'd say we probably got around 30 pounds of trash just from this side of the bridge alone. So we're gonna go move down and we're gonna see if we can get any goodies. Oh man, I don't know how good this is going to work. This is very, very fast moving river. You know what, let's go down to that one over there. All right, we're gonna take the first throw right here. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. There's a lot of rocks, so we're gonna be very careful. Let's go. All right, let's see. And nothing on that throw. All right, there's too many weeds here. All right, there's just too many weeds here. I don't think that this spot's gonna work out. Before we go head to the scrapyard, if you guys would like to get a magnet for yourself, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link's down in the description if you guys wanna go do some magnet fishing for yourself. It's that time of the video. 
You guys take your guesses down in the comments and how much weight do you think we got in the trailer? I'm thinking we're gonna be around 1,300 pounds. Y'all let me know down in the comments. All right, we just made it to the scrap yard here. We're about to hop on the scale and weigh in. Last chance to get your guests down in the comments. I know we got a nice load today. How you doing? All right, that old brass radiator on top there is worth two or three dollars. You wanna carry it back up front? All right, this is worth two or three dollars extra. Why not? There it goes. All right, time to unload it. Woo, there we go, we got the trailer all unloaded. Now let's head up to the counter and see how much weight we got. All right, awesome. thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good one. You too. Oh, look at this old hunter. I ain't seen a hundred like that in a really, really long time. The sun comes out as soon as the video is ending. This is going to wrap up the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, comment clear down in the comments so I know y'all made it all the way to the end. If you guys want to see me do this again, be sure to hit that like button, and we will definitely do it again because I had a blast today. Anyways, I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.